Yeah, Madison, there's multiple ways you can help, but I'm here at Oroville Rescue Mission. Half of the building is a thrift store. The other half is a place where 500 people have came to get the resources they need after losing everything. Susie Robbins and Mike Johnson once lived in Berry Creek, happily married, but now have lost their home to the North Complex fire. She had a little bit of stuff packed up in our vehicle ready to go, but we were trying to wait it out and good thing we left when we did. Planning to one day rebuild their house from the ground up, today the couple found themselves at Oroville Rescue Mission, looking for items to help them make it through. And they're giving us food and some clothes and co I got coffee cups and you know, just things we need. We have opened up um, our doors and just provided to anybody who can come in and um, provide us with an ID and an address in the burned area that has been evacuated. Cases of water, canned goods, and toiletries are available for fire victims, but because of the pandemic, the rescue mission is asking anyone looking to donate to give through money or gift cards. And through that, we go out and purchase the stuff at local merchants ourselves and then bring it into the thrift store and distribute it from there. The Red Cross is also accepting monetary donations, which they say will go towards covering the cost of countless hotel rooms. That does cost extra money. Um, it, it, but the thing is, it's, it's the important, it's the safe way to, to go right now. Due to the restriction that social distancing brings, the Red Cross isn't opening up any overnight evacuation centers as they normally would do during a natural disaster. Another way that you can help is by buying a Berry Creek Strong face mask that they sell here at the Oroville Rescue Mission. Also, you can buy one of these t-shirts. It says, Butte Strong, Bear Fire. All the proceeds from the face mask and this t-shirt goes back to fire victims.